So there's a giant send button over there, which is the best way to do it. I know what some people do is they just copy this link at the top and they send it to people. That works, but it's not a good idea to do it that way. Um, I'm not going to go into detail why, but it really isn't the best idea to do it that way. So we're going to press the send button. So once I press the send button, it opens up this dialogue over here where I've got a number of different ways to send it. Now, the majority of us are, there's one way that most people send out forms, and that's here right in the middle, there's an icon for link, a link. So here I can create the link. It's a very long link, but I can shorten it if I want to. And there I end up using a short link. Now you can go and shorten this even further if you want to by creating a bit.ly or by creating um, um, something similar to a bit.ly, a bit do is one of the other things, um, tiny URL, there's lots of options. But you can do that if you want to, but that's a pretty short link um, in all honesty. So you can copy that and you can email it to your learners. You can paste it in a WhatsApp group. You can put it onto your Google Classroom. You can, if you're using something different, you can add it to any kind of way that you want to communicate it with them. From there, you can create a QR code. The kids can scan it with a QR code. If all of this sounds foreign to you, we've got lots of a little quick advertisement break. We have instructional videos on how to create bitlies, how to create QR codes, how to do all of those things. So just um, go have a look at our website and go scratch around. You'll find stuff there. Um, there's an option to embed, but we're not going to use that for the most time. If you know how, if you know what embedding is, you probably know how to do it. If you don't know what it is, then you're not going to use it. So I'm not going to go into that now. Then you can alternatively, you can email it as well. So we can say we're going to send it to, um, we, if you've got a long list of emails, you can copy a list of emails and paste it in here as well, and it'll send that one directly to you. Um, I'm just going to remove that option because we don't want to automatically collect respondents, Western Cape Education Department email addresses, right? We don't want that because we want to make it open. So I'm going to copy that. I've got my link set up. Let's just double check it. Everything's working fine.